This is Dan Wright, Secretary Treasurer of Arkansas Farm Bureau. We're here in my hay barn, just north of Waldron, here in western Arkansas. We're watching it rain right now. It's rained for a couple of days, probably going to rain for the next two or three days, which is one of the things that we really don't need right now. We love the rain, but we'd like for it to dry out just a little bit. We're having problems getting out in our fields, uh, mainly fixing the ruts that we left from, from last year. Uh, working on the fertilizing our fields, working on uh, spraying our fields for weeds. So we're just needing some, some time to dry out. But one of the big things we're watching right now and keeping an eye on is this coronavirus. This is something that has uh, a lot of people concerned. Some people are worried. Here in the rural part of the state, we don't get around large crowds a whole lot, so we don't have to worry about rubbing shoulders with other people. But we have other concerns. We have market prices. Right now, the cattle market is as low as we've seen it in several years. We're uh, uh, dealing with that. We've got a cattlemen that are ready to send cattle to market. And right now, the prices are so low that they'll barely break even, if they'll break even, if they go to market today. So we're not really sure which way to go. We don't know what the future holds for this. And it's, it's, it's an issue that has concerned a lot of producers for a long time. And not only does this affect producers right now, but it also affects people later on in the market. We're gonna have hay coming up for sale here in a few months. If uh, producers don't make any money this year, they're not gonna be able to buy a whole lot of hay. They may have to sell some cattle off to afford the hay that they need. Also in uh, equipment and supplies in town, it's gonna to affect everybody in these small towns because these small towns rely on agriculture. And when the prices are down, uh, people that buy things in town are, are not as prevalent as they, you would, as they would be. So keep us in your prayers as we continue to work day and night to bring you food, fiber, and shelter. And we'll see you later on.